It's midge time, or it might be some time, all right? You always have to have midges in your box. This is a really simple, pretty much two material fly that will float really high and get picky fish to eat. It's called the puff puff midge because it uses CDC puffs. Check it out. Yes, this hook is a little bit skewampus toward the upwardish position here. But I have it in the vise like that on purpose. We're going to tie a really simple and cool midge. A lot of flotation properties on this bad boy. So we'll just dive right into it. Find your favorite 70 denier thread. I've got some Semperfly 12 aught in gray. And I'm just going to nuke that tag end. I really like this Semperfly stuff because you can, you really can flatten it out if you want, but it comes fairly corded up like a uni thread. Um, but as you can see right there, that's all nice and flat. All right, we're gonna make a little rib in this. So I'm gonna take a Sharpie and let's see, I'm gonna just color that up. And we'll just wrap this bad boy forward. I do this in black as well. Um, you don't necessarily need to add a rib to the black one, um, but you can. Now, about right here, I'm gonna take a piece of 0.5 millimeter razor foam. So in the package, it comes with a piece of one mil, or two pieces of one mil, and two pieces of 0.5. So it's just the thinner of the two. I'm gonna cut it about like yay. It's a little thinner than the gap of the hook. And I'm just going to tie that in right here. And I'll grab all those extra chunks of foam and I'll just create a little thorax out of that. Now, this fly does not have any dubbing or anything, so. Um, we're just going to build the thorax out of thread. All right, so once we're here, we're just going to take that forward and pull this over the front of the fly. And the name of the fly is called the Puff Puff Midge because it uses CDC puffs. These are really super cool. Uh, one of my staff members didn't know how to use these the other day. I'm not going to tell you the name, but rhymes with Brigham Wilson. He didn't know how to use these, so I showed him how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie that in fairly long, and I'll just pull that to the length that I want. About right there will be fine. Tighten that down with a few more wraps, and then I'm just gonna pull that whole thing up, make a few turns in front, and whip finish. without unraveling. This is stressful, Brigham. Throw a whip finish right there. You see how I broke my thread on a whip finish. No big deal. But if you ever break your thread on a whip finish, that knot's gonna be very weak. So I'm gonna come in, I do this anyway, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some glue on the thorax of the fly. Now for this puff part, I'm just going to come in here and trim it a little bit long. So you see we have a nice kind of CDC wing. And then this little piece of foam, I'm just gonna trim that off right in front of the hook eye. Now we have just like a little puff midge that's going to sit nice in the film. So to finish this off, I have a little tiny bit of super glue and I'm just going to dab that in the bottom and we're set. There you go, get ready for midge season. You can do this with gray, um, all different colors of CDC, um, but this one is super visible and the fish will eat it.